Hey guys, what is going on? Griff here with another Valorant video. In this video today, we're going to be looking at the Prime Collection Gunskin Pack that launched with the official release of Valorant. First off, the Prime Skin Pack costs a whopping 7,100 Valorant points. To get that many points, you would have to buy a minimum of £69.98 or around 90 US dollars worth of credits, which in my opinion is absolute madness. Unfortunately for my wallet, it is not mad enough to stop me from buying the skins, but I haven't gone mad with the whole bundle. I have only bought one or two. So first things first, let's jump into the Prime Collection pack. So for 7,100 points or around 69 pounds and 98 pence, you are going to get the Prime Guardian skin, the Prime Melee, the Prime Spectre, the Prime Classic, the Prime Vandal, and then you're gonna get three free items, the Prime Buddy, the Prime Card, and the Prime Brick Spray. It is worth noting, guys, that you can upgrade your weapons using Radiant Points. These upgrades make your visual effects look different or give you different animations or make your gun look different. It's important to note that these are not performance enhancing upgrades. They simply make your gun look and feel slightly different. What does that actually mean in practice? So here is my Prime Vandal. It has been fully upgraded. At level one, we've obviously got the base gun. This is the gun that we've paid for. At level two, we have the visual effects upgrade that gives us some space like bullets. At level three, we get a really nice looking reload animation. At level four, we get this really, really cool finisher that happens if you get the last kill of a round and looks especially good when in slow-mo. At level five, we unlock this cool orange and blue shader that to be fair, does look quite nice, but it does not look anywhere near as good as the shader we unlock at level six. This shader is at the minute my favorite shader on the game. So we get this blue and silver shader with some red accents and I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. And in game, it looks really, really good. And then finally at level seven, we get this yellow and black shader that is actually growing on me. I do really enjoy the amount of carbon on this shader. It looks really good in game. And also it's a bit of a flex because you've spent that many radiant points unlocking the gun to this level. With regards to the other weapons in the Prime Pack, with the exception of the melee that only has the one upgrade, the Spectre and the Guardian and the Pistol all have the same upgrade tree. So the same visual effects, the same animations, the same reload thing, the same skins, everything. You may be asking how this stuff looks in the game, so I'll play that in the background while I summarize my thoughts of this pack. So first up, I would advise caution when buying skins. Obviously, I made this mistake in Fortnite. I really struggled to justify 20 pounds for a skin for the first skin that I bought. But as soon as I bought it, I opened up the floodgates to buying loads, loads more. So obviously be careful when you're buying skins. 69 pounds, 70 pounds for a pack of skins does seem like an awful lot of money. On my account, I've only unlocked the guns that I'm actually gonna use. Like I don't care about the Guardian and I don't really like the melee so much. So I've only unlocked the Phantom and the Spectre. So I would advise doing that if you're looking to save those Valorant points. Also be mindful that the store is going to reset, so it may be that you stretch for the Prime skin now and you make that decision and then next week another £70 bundle releases that is just absolutely mind-blowing, so be careful that you don't do that if you're not 100% sure on this bundle. Overall, I think the animations are really, really cool. The reload animation specifically looks great. The finisher is cool. The skins look really good as well, in my opinion. And although £70 does seem like a lot of money, do remember, guys, that you are putting hundreds of hours into a game that is free to play and the developers need support somehow. With all of that said, guys, let me know in the comments below how you feel about the skin pack. If you played the beta, were there any beta skins that you preferred to this one? Like for me, I can't wait for the Prism skin to come back. I think when that comes back, I'm gonna have to splash the Valorant points on it because I miss it so much from the beta. So with all that said, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have not subscribed already, please consider subscribing because that really, really helps me out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.